Hi, my name is Eileen Stanbury. I'm the facilitator of the Peterborough Kawartha Lakes Parkinson's Support Group. And uh, we service the Peterborough Kawartha Lakes area and we provide support to people living with Parkinson's and people that are also caregivers for people living with Parkinson's. And if you would like to know more information, you can access the Parkinson's Canada website at parkinsonscanada.ca and they will direct you to us. Thank you. Well, we've always loved dancing together, okay, and that's more limited than it once was. But uh, we still do some of that, you know, in, as well, so that's good. That's good, yeah. But it's been really, really important for Linda. I mean, Linda's had, was diagnosed with Parkinson's 14 years ago now, and uh, it's progressing because that's the way the disease is. But she says that she's sure it would have progressed faster without the dancing. You know, that it really has made it, she feels like it's made a real difference. But every day, as much as like, I'm, I'm going to be home, of course, there are a couple of times a week when I have meetings or whatever. But five to six times a week, I've done it for about three years, yeah. two and a half anyway. And I feel it's really benefited me because I'm much more, more well than I thought I'd be. Yeah, yeah. so, so I've started doing it with Linda fairly regularly because it's a good exercise for me too. I don't have Parkinson's. But it's good for me, and uh, but she's really the one that motivates the whole, whole process. As I say, Linda won't miss one if there's any, any possibility she can get to the computer at all. Then I'd like to introduce Sarah Robichaud from Dancing with Parkinson's. And she is going to talk a little bit about the benefits of dancing and then she's going to lead us through some moves. As Eileen said, my name's Sarah Robichaud and I am the founder of Dancing with Parkinson's. I founded the program in 2008 with the mission to bring people with Parkinson's disease and their care partners and family members out of isolation and into an inclusive artistic community where hopefully they would find some, some joy in their movement and really explore the potential and possibilities of moving to music. Our brains have the ability to change themselves. And we all know with Parkinson's disease, it affects the part of the brain that initiates and controls movement. Dance has been shown by using this visualization, this imagery, the music, that we are working with that plastic brain and we are actually building our cognitive reserves and we are actually able to access and create and travel along no, new neural pathways to movement. So we thought today that we would give you a taste of what we do. Um, this is a giant group, which is so, honestly, so amazing to see so many people who want to, who want to get out and do something. Should we dance? I think we should. I think we totally should. And we go T-A-N-G-O. T A N G O. What does that spell? Tango. Tango. T A N G O. Let's T A. Say it. T A N G O. T A. We're doing the tango. When we come together and we dance, our spirits are uplifted. Dancing and exercise, as we know, releases all of those feel-good chemicals and hormones, our serotonin, our dopamine, endorphins, which like help minimize and take away some pain, to be honest. So just by dancing, you can get all of those feel-good hormones flooding through the body, which leave you more energized, more able to focus, increase motivation and, and uh, you know, increase self, increase self-esteem. And just so you know, like we have some of the top neurologists, well, on our board and working with us and endorsing this program. So this is not just like, yay, we get to dance and no, this is like research backed, science proven working and designed specifically for people with PD. So it's free. It's daily, you can do it from your home, and I see no reason why not to be doing it. Doesn't make any sense if you're not doing it already, right? So, <laughs> love it, T-A-N-G-O. 
NG take a freeze. Thanks, Zoe. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> I don't think I have ever exercised so much while sitting in a chair. Oh my goodness. So that was amazing. I felt like I was in Hawaii. I felt like I was on a ship. Yeah. I was in a rodeo. All these things. It, it's, it's not just the dancing, it's that you take us places. Yes. So that was just wonderful. Everybody, uh, let me know. Did anybody here enjoy it? Yeah. All right. Well, I prefer the the um, the water one where you're swimming to, because I can do that. I've got an inverted shoulder on this side, so I only have partial use of it. So I really work to get it up overhead, but I just adapt. You know, I can work out with this hand and up with this hand, and you know, yeah. So I just do it when I can, what I can. He's He's more mobile than I am, but he struggles too sometimes. Yeah. You get your shoulders. You know, I find when my arms are in the air for 20 minutes, yeah. I can really feel it in my shoulders. Okay. No, so it's a good workout for me as well. Yeah. Because this association is huge and growing every minute because of Parkinson's spreading as a disease. So uh, this support group meets regularly. It's usually in a small cramped room and we're all cheek by jowl, but it was nice to see it spread out today, and most people were very involved, which was great. Okay. Yeah. And it was nice to see the originator in person. Yes. So that yes. was good too. Yes, there's there and all sorts of stuff. Um, Quite a group online that chats, and they know each other, and they support each other, and that's great. If you need it, that's a wonderful part of it. Just I think it's, a, it's an incredible service. Yeah. The fact that it's every day at the same time is also yes. really important yes. because you know you know that it starts at 11. You don't have to worry about no is this Tuesday or is it Friday. Yeah. You know it's just there, and I bet you don't miss one a week, right? Normally, that, that yeah, two a week occasionally. Maybe, maybe, but Thanks. but that, so it's, yes. it's a really really valuable service. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Whether you have Parkinson's or you're just a human. <laughs> We all need this. Every human, especially our aging population, especially living with PD, needs daily physical activity, daily access to social connection, and we need to keep our brains strong and healthy. So that's why we dance with Parkinson's. And that's why every single day, 365 days of the year, we offer free dance classes live online. I want you to gather everybody in on this side of the room and everybody in on this side of the room and say thank you.